Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is Danielle, in case you didn't know. Now you do know. And uh, this week's video is going to be my March favorites. You should be seeing this on April 1st. This is not a practical joke of any kind. It is my March favorites. Um, so I have a pretty long list. I'm going to do this a little differently. Uh, I'm going to give a list of sort of things that I'm loving and then also I'm going to give you sort of like my wins and struggles for the month and yeah let's uh, take my puffy hair because I just washed it today and uh, let's get right into it okay so my first favorite of the month is a book uh, it is actually a fairly old book well not old old um, but it's from like 2009 2010 I guess it is Crush It by Gary Vaynerchuk. I have read this now three times. Um, the first time I read it was when it first came out. And honestly, it's what motivated me to sort of work on having my own path and not be scared of having my own path. Um, however, because his new book come out, came out recently, I decided I wanted to reread this. Now, I didn't actually read it. Um, I bought a copy on Audible, um, or I used my credit for this month on Audible, and I listened to it, and I've listened to it twice this month now. Um, I just, I don't know, I like listening to books that are business books. I find I absorb a lot more of the information. <laughs> but yes, I, I love it. And uh, I'm really looking forward to reading the sort of follow-up to this called Crushing It. And uh, I'm probably going to buy the book version of it as well. Um, but I'm, I'm waiting for the audiobook to come out. Next item on my list is a food thing that I can't actually show you like physically here. Um, but I'm just going to be honest, I'm obsessed with deep fried cheese curds. Now that may sound disgusting, and I'm sure it actually is, if I were to think about it, but basically it's cheese curds. If you've not seen cheese curds, they're like little nuggets of cheese um, that are floured and seasoned and then deep fried. So it's like a little tiny mozzarella stick. Um, and if you've... And cheese curds are like the cheese chunks that go on poutine, so... Um, you know, for those Canadian people, and honestly, they're the most delicious thing. My favorite ones are from the pizza place, like, two minutes down the road from my house. They have the best marinara sauce to go with it. However, they aren't, like, easily deliverable to my house. I usually just order them from a place that I can get on Skip the Dishes, if you've not heard of Skip the Dishes, another favorite because honestly I'm obsessed with ordering my lunch to work by Skip the Dishes. It's ridiculous. Um, I'm going to leave my like referral link thing. It's not sponsored or anything, but if you've never used them and they're in your area, I think you, when you use it, you get money and I get money. So if you want to use it, thank you. <laughs> Alright, uh, the next thing on my list of favorites is some jewelry items. So, um, item number one is this ring. There we go, it's focusing. This is the ring I'm talking about. It is a evil eye ring, I guess. I got an ASOS uh, curve, so it's meant for chubby sausage fingers like mine. And so I think I got the large one. It fits on my middle finger very loosely, like easily slips on and off. Um, I love it. I wear it almost every day. And I don't know, I just, I love the way it looks and feels. It fits on both of my hands, which is good because actually I think my hands are like a ring size difference um, between some of the fingers. So I don't know. The other... Uh, jewelry favorite I have are these earrings. I don't think I'll be able to get them to focus or zoom in or anything. But these were made by my friend Sherry. Uh, so if you want to find her on Instagram, it's uh, Sherry Jeffrey Artist. I'll link it in the description. They're these cute little studs. So there's a silver ball earring here. It's a stud with the gold 
um, Spike. She makes gorgeous jewelry and she's local to my area. We're like actual in real life friends now. So anyway, I love her. I love her stuff. She's a great photographer as well. I will link her in the description. I will link whatever I can in the description. I always do. Uh, check it out if you can or if you want to. My favorite makeup item this month has been this tiny cute little pink palette. So um, this isn't really something you'll be able to buy online. I bought it from my favorite stationery store, Midori. Uh, I guess it's a Korean skincare brand line, whatever. Um, so it's just some like neutrals and pinks. I really like pink eyeshadow. Um, so they're like browny pink colors and peachy colors. They just do really well on my skin tone and um, they don't look too colorful without being not colorful enough. This palette is very pigmented. I didn't have any fallout, like nothing on my cheeks, which I get a lot actually. Um, and it stayed on all day. So that made me super happy. I was actually wearing this palette um, in my last video. So if you want to see what it looks like. I won't be able to link it or anything. I literally can't read anything other than it saying Novo and then play color eyes. Everything else is in Korean. I have a techie weird gadget now for you guys. Um, I saw this when I was scrolling on Amazon and I was like, that's genius. I have to have it. So I accidentally bought two. It's this, not the Alexa. The Alexa is not, um, part of it. So basically it's this little holster thingy that you slip the plug into and it comes with this short little cord that connects to your Alexa which is pretty cool and then your little echo thing just snaps in there. That's it. And then you plug it into the wall. Um, there's a little thing in here that you can turn so if you need it to stick out to the side like this but still have these prongs going the right way you can do that um, so this just uh, literally just plugs into the wall like this um, and it stays there it can still hear me just fine you know when it's plugged in and it's so great because it actually um, where my echo would normally sit is a place where I'm like constantly in and out of and it kept like slipping and stuff and my dog kept like trying to take out the cord because it was right over her dog bed and it was a whole nightmare mess thing so anyway my clothing item of the month is these distressed jeans so I've actually never owned a pair of distressed jeans I got these from Pennington's so they have a little bit of like rippy things here and then some like texture down here and on this side there's a little bit over here and like they're not too distressed but they're distressed enough and they're a lighter wash than I usually buy as well um normally I just go for dark because I think that's you know just easier and also because I wear like the larger sizes usually the dark ones are the ones that have most of the sizes left I mean I did have to pay full price for them because they were brand new I'm totally okay with that uh, I would rather buy jeans I like for full price than I would buy jeans that I don't like for ten dollars or cheaper you know so anyway so those are all my like physical favorite things and now we'll just kind of get into the wins losses of the month so my biggest struggle this month has been lack of sleep I don't know what it is I've had so much trouble sleeping this like the last two weeks especially I'm totally drained we're coming up to a three-day weekend and I am so looking forward to sleeping in but I have so much to do this week or this weekend that I don't think that'll be possible and my dog has insisted on sleeping in my bed but she's like 
a sausage shaped furnace. It's ridiculous. And she doesn't want to just like sleep at the foot of my bed away from my me. She needs to sleep on top of me. And I'm so hot at night. So I like I have to basically like push her off the bed. Um, which makes me sad because I want to snuggle with her. Um, yeah, it just I've not slept well and it's kind of resulted like now tonight, um it's like Thursday night, tomorrow's Good Friday. I have a bit have had a bit of a headache. I almost fell asleep at my desk at work yesterday and today. Like, it's a struggle. I really, really need to get some good sleep this weekend, so I'm hoping that I can plan my work schedule and block out my time so that it won't be an issue and I can get to bed fairly early and get up fairly early in the morning. Let's talk some wins. Let's start with business wins. For me, this was a really good business month. Um, I got a new laptop. I have a laptop now that will not close my video editing software 10 times before it works. Um, my laptop before was from 2011 and I had put that thing through the ringer. I had a MacBook Pro, um, which was a great computer and it still worked, but it took 10 times longer to do anything, just waiting for it to start up, waiting for it to load a web page. So my mom loaned me the money to go and buy a new laptop. I got a MacBook Air. Uh, because it comes with the free iMovie, which is how I edit everything. Um, and so she loaned me the money because honestly, the MacBook Air was on an awesome sale. And taxes included, I got it for about $1,200 brand new. I mean, yeah, it's pretty awesome. And I would have gotten a more powerful laptop if I stored anything on it. But I've recently learned, uh, kind of the hard way, um, not to store any, like, video files on my computer. I usually upload them to my Dropbox, which has a terabyte of space, as well as backing it up on my hard drive, like, on my external hard drive, which also has a terabyte of space. So I just put them both on there, like, I put two separate copies, and that's it. Um, that's my backup. I mean, if I really needed, uh, a copy of the video and I'd lost it all, like through my Dropbox and my um, hard drive, then I could download it off my YouTube channel. But that's not likely, because I don't like looking at my videos back, I don't like the sound of my voice. Another business win was we hit 6,000 subscribers this month. Uh, in January we were at 3,300 subscribers. And, well, January 28th, we hit 3,300 subscribers. And on March 28th, we were just over 6,600 subscribers. So we doubled in size in two months. How awesome is that? Like I've said before, my goal for the year is to hit 10,000 subscribers for this channel. And I definitely think that's a possibility. Third business win of the month is I signed up for three vendor shows. Two are in April, a week apart, which is going to be intense, especially if I sell a lot at the first one. It means I'm going to have to make a lot of stuff. Um, and the third one is in June. I've also applied for a Christmas show already. I'm looking for some local events that are inside for the summer because uh, I don't have a tent to like cover me and I get heat stroke really bad in the summer if I'm out for like six hours at a time. So I have to do indoor events. I'm really sensitive to the sun. So I'll see what I can find. If not, that's pretty awesome and it will help me grow my business. <sighs> my personal wins for March are I didn't drink Starbucks every day this month. I started out the month pretty bad with drinking it pretty much every day. However, I gave myself a challenge that I wasn't allowed to drink Starbucks or have a donut for breakfast for two weeks straight. I didn't even loan any money on my Starbucks card. That's how intense I was on this challenge. Now, I did get one on the weekend, and I've had a couple over the month, probably about three in total, 
but I would say that's pretty awesome because Starbucks is a big chunk of my budget and uh, it saved me a lot of money that I could put towards paying for vendor shows. Another personal win, I bought two pairs of jeans at the same time that were not the same cut. Uh, I've never really done that before where I walked in the store and said, I like those jeans, I'll take them in my size. I like those ones, I'll take them in my size. And just went and bought them. Uh, I did have a little bit of extra money this month, which was great because I didn't, you know, spend it all on Starbucks. But I also sold my old phone when I upgraded and a bunch of other things. So, you know, uh, I was able to pay for the jeans that way. It was also a necessity because my other two pairs of jeans have been through the dryer a few too many times and are getting a little short, so. So those are my favorites for the month. I uh, <laughs> rambled on for a really long time. This is gonna be like a 20 minute video, hopefully not. I did also wanna let you know that I'm starting the 100 days project on April 3rd. So my project is going to be 100 Instagram photos, or 100 days of Instagram photos. I'm pretty terrible at updating my Instagram, I usually only do it about once a week. And I'm going to challenge myself to do 100 days in a row of Instagram photos. Photos that I've actually taken, to be precise. Um, so, if you want to follow along on that, you can go ahead and subscribe to my channel. It's just at Rebellious Clove. Uh, it's on the screen, it's linked below do whatever you want with that, uh, and I will see you over there. Also, I'm doing something really fun, so uh, I'm going to be putting up, or I'm going to try, okay, try, because I also have two vendor shows this month, and do a video every other day in April. Uh, so I've really set a creative challenge for myself this month with starting a hundred days of Instagram photos, doing every other day a video. The video might be like one, two minutes long, or it'll be a live stream, who knows, but something will go up every other day. That may mess with our regular Sunday video, um, if the day doesn't fall on that, then there won't be a video that day, but, uh, there will be a video the next day, so don't worry. Uh, so stick around for that. If you want to see more, definitely go ahead and subscribe. You should like this video if you liked it. If not, you can give it a like too. That's totally cool. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comments below. If you're looking for anything that I mentioned, they're linked. Uh, and I guess I will see you guys next time. Bye!